Hi, I'm Anna, and you are at Anna's House DIY. This week, we have a accidental terrazzo coffee table for you guys. Yes, I almost gave up on this project, and I'm so glad I didn't. You guys will see why. Enjoy this beautiful DIY, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you soon. This is my story on how I turned this glass table into a terrazzo table. I started applying um, this primer, but apparently the glass didn't want to take the primer and it kept peeling off, so I tried to sand it, made it worse, and I thought, let's try mortar mix, because it's kind of like a cement and will have a good grip. I just added mortar mix with water, consistency, more like baby food type of, type of uh, consistency. The first layer was kind of slippery to spread, but I waited until it dried completely. Um, and then I applied the second layer, uh, way, way better. Um, and I let that dry as well, flipped it over, did the bottom part. This is me doing the second layer on the bottom of it. Uh, just trust the process. I never worked with cement ever in my life. This was the first time and wasn't so hard. So now, after you apply the whole mortar mix, get a sponge, dip it in water, and ca keep um, spreading throughout because that's going to make the rocks to pop up. And you will need that for this project. Uh, have a U shape like this on your sponge um, and just go all the way across your edge and that's how you're going to get a perfect edge. Um, and once that's done, wait till your um, project is completely dry before you uh, sand. So after you finish applying uh, sand and after it's sanded, go ahead and clean your surface. I'm just using a regular paint paintbrush. Now we're going to use the joy compound with the taping knife. Um, the thing with joy compound is that you do not want to thicken that layer. You want a very thin layer. The reason why it's because otherwise it will crack. And if it cracks, not that it's a big deal, but you're gonna have to keep filling up the hole. Um, now this is how it looks after the first layer of the joy compound. And now I'm doing the second layer of the joy compound. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because we're going to sand and joy compound is so easy to sand. I'm using a uh, hundred and I think I ended up using a 2000 or 1000 to finish up with a smooth look. Um, after that was done, I used a damp cloth and just wiped it all off before I applied my very last ingredient, which is water guard. You definitely want to have a water guard if, if it is a place that you will be using uh, for cups, mugs, if you have kids at the house, any spills, just protect the thing before you regret. And this is the final look. I'm so happy I didn't quit on this project because, oh man, I tell you, it was weeks and weeks of work. Now looking back at the video, it looks like it was done in a day, but definitely not because all these ingredients that we used takes hours to dry. So more than a month because I kept working on it every weekend. Ah, and it's done, finally done. I hope you guys really like this project as much as I did. Um, and more videos will come up next week. Enjoyed this one me a while. And if you really liked it, don't forget to share with your friends and family. That will help me a lot. And I'm very grateful for that. I'll see you next time.